Hi friends, welcome back. Let's crack some more problems on intersection of solids using the cutting plane method. We have a right circular cone resting on HP. A cylinder penetrates the cone with its horizontal axis intersecting the axis of the cone at right angles and at a distance 30 mm above the base of the cone. To obtain the two representation of the lines of intersection, we will first construct its orthogonal views. As we can see, the cone is resting with its base on HP. So, its top view would be a circle. From the top view, first draw the front view and then the side view of the vertical cone. The penetrating cylinder can be seen in its true shape in the side view. Draw a circle with its center on the axis of the cone and at a distance of 30 mm from its base. Now we will divide the circle in the side view of the cylinder into 8 equal parts and project lines from these points onto the top view and front view. To obtain the lines of intersection, we shall assume that a number of horizontal planes parallel to HP and perpendicular to VP are passing through the intersecting cylinder in the side view. Observe the horizontal plane passing through the points 2 double dash and 4 double dash in the side view cutting the cone at points QQ. To project this view, let's draw a line through the points 2 double dash and 4 double dash meeting the cone at Q and Q. In the top view, draw a circle with O as a center using the length QQ as a diameter. Now project the point 2 double dash and 4 double dash from the side view to cut this circle at A2, B2 and A4, B4 in the top view. Project the points A2 and A4 vertically to the front view cutting the horizontal projectors drawn from 2 double dash and 4 double dash at A2 dash. Now we shall repeat the above steps for each of the horizontal planes RR, SS and TT passing through the other points 1 double dash, 3 double dash, 5 double dash, 6 double dash, 7 double dash and 8 double dash of the circle in the side view. Draw circle in the top view by taking the lengths RR, SS and TT as diameter. Now project the points 1 double dash, 3 double dash, 5 double dash, 6 double dash, 7 double dash and 8 double dash onto the top view to meet the respective circles at A1, A3, A5, A6, a7 and A8. After that, project these points onto the front view to obtain the points A1 dash, A3 dash, A8 dash and A7 dash. Now repeat the above steps and obtain the points B1, B3, B5, B6 B7 and B8 in the top view. By projecting these points onto the front view, we would get points B1 dash, B3 dash, B8 dash and B7 dash. Take a closer look at the enlarged top view. Finally, in the front view, the lines of intersection are obtained by joining the points in a proper sequence. Take a look at the complete construction diagram. Fine.
lots of interesting construction right